Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie, aka Red Lip Steph. And today I will be talking about how to land a job as a legal assistant. I know some of you liked my video on the legal assistant tips that everyone should know and someone suggested that I should create a video on how to land a job as a legal assistant, which is why I'm doing this video. So if you have any ideas or questions or you want me to, to make a video more in depth about a specific topic, please let me know in the comments. I'm going to create a Gmail specifically for this YouTube channel so that way if you guys don't want to comment you could you know feel free to reach out via email so if you want to see more content like this please make sure to like and subscribe um, that will definitely help me out and it will help you guys out with free content I decided to take off my glasses just because I feel like I'm wearing goggles and yes, I am blind, but that's okay. It makes me less nervous recording this video. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that you guys need to do is obviously find a legal assistant position somewhere. So how do you find that position? Well, if you're currently in college, I know different schools have their own job search engine. So for example, I graduated from UCLA and for us, we had the system called Handshake. It's kind of like Indeed, um, ZipRecruiter and all that. So that's how I found a couple of jobs right after I graduated. But I think like the main thing you guys need to do first is try to find an internship as an undergrad. If you're an undergrad and you have the time for it, definitely just try to get a legal internship and whatever you can so that way when you when it's your turn to create your resume and you're looking for a job right after you graduate you um you're very competitive in that sense where you have experience and then you could talk about your experiences to all these law firms but if you have no experience do not worry a lot of legal assistants um, they start off with no experience and law firms are more than willing to take people like that so don't be discouraged just try to make yourself as competitive as possible so my boyfriend was mansplaining how to get a job while <laughs> he was helping me edit my video and he strongly encouraged me to record him about this tip uh so one thing that uh steph forgot to mention do that again. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. One thing. Uh, one more thing. Uh, hold on. You see, it's hard. No, it's not hard. It's not hard. It's easy. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the tips that people sleep on when trying to apply for any kind of office job is that they don't really think about applying for an office job at their university. Um, there's departments all over the university that hire student workers and that experience that you can get in those positions is going to give you a leg up over somebody who doesn't have any office experience at all. So you should really consider applying to those. They're usually easier to get. Um, they give you work study money and they're usually really flexible with their scheduling. So it's something you should really consider. Um, and it really helps you build your resumes and build those connections and be in a professional environment where you're going to develop those skills you're going to need to succeed in any kind of position. Are you a legal assistant? I am. Then you not. shouldn't be giving tips. <laughs> a legal assistant. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it applies. All right, guys, um, back to my video. The job search engines that I used after as well, aside from Handshake, I used Indeed, I used LinkedIn. Glassdoor and ZipRecruiter. I wasn't a big fan of ZipRecruiter. I don't know, I just felt like they always sent me too many emails, but I think that's my fault because I subscribed to those and okay, whatever. But my top three favorite ones were or are indeed uh, LinkedIn and Glassdoor. And the reasons why I love those job search engines is because they give you reviews about like the work environment, um, what the job was like, what kind of questions that they asked during the interviews. And it tells you how many people have applied to those jobs or like if they're hiring urgently or um, are they accepting new hires or being like entry level hires or people with experience and so forth. You guys get the, the whole thing. And another thing, 
so if you are applying like while you are applying um to these legal assistant positions some positions will say we need a paralegal or we need a legal assistant or we need a legal secretary when you see those terms don't be discouraged like don't think that you need a paralegal certificate a lot of the law firms they tend to use those terms interchangeably so it could get pretty confusing and you could get discouraged but honestly like just apply even if the posting says oh we would like one to two years of experience or we would prefer that just apply trust me just apply maybe a posting says oh we're looking only for this type of person but maybe they're not getting that many applications and your resume happens to you know go on their desk and then they're reviewing your resume and it's like okay we could give this person a chance to be at least interviewed so just maximize your chances of getting an interview and don't be nervous you know like if one law firm rejects you don't be discouraged i've been there before there's going to be plenty of more law firms that will at least call you up for an interview okay i need to recap all of this um, so my first point was basically look for legal assistant positions or paralegal positions um, through job search engines, whether that's through your school or whether it's through the generic job search engine such as Indeed, ZipRecruiter, Glassdoor, and so on. The second thing you need to do is make sure your LinkedIn is spotless. So um, I remember I took a career counseling class um, like the last semester before I graduated and one of my professors like she really encouraged us to you know um, edit our LinkedIn profiles make sure we had like a little summary a great picture a background make sure we put all of our experiences there and put our awards scholarships whatever it is and you know like for me I only did it because <laughs> I got class credit for it when she told us this I kind of brushed it off I was like whatever I'm just doing this because I need to do it for a grade however i'm so glad that i did do that because i remember for one mid-sized law firm i applied and i got called for the interview but i realized that their office manager like looked through my linkedin profile so i know that um you need to pay a premium to see like who exactly viewed your profile but sometimes like if you have the basic um edition like i do i know they'll disclose the name of one person that viewed your your LinkedIn profile. If you guys don't know that, you know that now. So if you're trying to stalk someone, be careful because they will know it's you. Possibly. So, let me recap again. One, search positions through job search engines. Second, make sure to have your LinkedIn profile spotless and just beautiful. Make sure you edit that and make sure it's good to go before you start applying to legal assistant positions. The third step, okay, make sure to be yourself. I know it's so like corny and it's like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? Like be myself? I am myself. If you get um, a call for an interview, it's most likely because you qualify for the job. I think of these interviews as a personality test. It's like, can I get along with this person? Is this person going to be a great addition to the office? And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So that's how I see it. Um, obviously, like make sure to practice um, the interview questions. You could research those questions on Google. That's what I did. I'll go really quick over the questions that they usually ask. The first one, it's, I think every employer asks these questions. Like, what are your weaknesses? What are your strengths? Can you tell me how you handle stress? Or sometimes they will ask you, can you give me an example of a time where um, you had a deadline and you were under time constraint? How did you handle that stress? Um, did you ever handle an angry client? How did you deal with that? Or if sometimes like, okay, cause this happened to me. I So after graduation, I worked for a boutique law firm and then I quit that job and then I interviewed with other law firms and some of them were the big law firms and some law firms, they asked me why I left the job. So you could be like, you know, I'm switching jobs because I wanted more personal growth or I wanted more hands-on, I wanted more experience and 
in the other job, I wasn't able to get that. You know, there's ways around to kind of word your situation, but I would definitely make a video on that because I think it's really important and I wish I had some ideas of answers that I could have given the certain law firms that I interviewed for. To go back to my point, I feel like I always go on a <laughs> like tangent. So anyway, just make sure to be yourself. Um, if you have some humor, like show it to them. Obviously don't be extra, be like ha ha ha, like laughing at something that they said or um, just do something that's kind of out of character. Like literally just be yourself. If you're very intellectual and very personable and you know, like the good qualities, then show it to them, but don't like be over the top. Obviously you gotta be professional. You gotta let them know like, hey, I'm going to take this job seriously, but I am also fun. Like I have a positive attitude, I have a little bit of humor and so forth. And if you do not end up getting the job, don't be discouraged. There's, I promise you, there's going to be many more law firms that are going to reach out to you for, for an interview. And it's most likely you will get some type of job. Another thing before I forget, don't apply to just a couple of firms, meaning like maybe you apply to five, 10, and then you give up. No, you gotta apply to many. If you could do a hundred applications, do a hundred applications. <laughs> I know it sounds like bizarre, but honestly, like, just keep applying. That's what I did. I just kept applying to any position that I thought I'd be interested in. And, you know, I just shoot in my emails with my resume to those law firms. And, you know, I kind of bombarded them. Some of them like me, some of them don't. Not every law firm is going to like you and that's okay. You know, like maybe that law firm wasn't for you either. Like, I guess, oh, I guess like one tip that I really do have is like, don't, don't settle down for just any law firm. Every law firm is different and they're going to provide you with different resources. Um, just how they're very picky with their applicants, you gotta be picky with the law firms as well. Consider the work environment, that's super important. Like I wish I knew this um, like way before because for me, I was just like any type of work that I could get, I'm going to do. Obviously, like, if you don't have the luxury and you need to have some type of experience, definitely go for it. I mean, it's going to vary for each person, but I would definitely recommend um, looking up the employer, like, what benefits do they offer, like, especially after graduation, like, if you don't have health insurance or any of that, like, for me, that was important um, for an employer to offer me health insurance, a 401k, um, a Roth, and other little benefits that I get. It's just, it makes you, because the legal field could be very um, stressful and it's nice to have those little perks where it's like, well, at least I have this. Like, I like my job and I'm getting this experience and to top it off, I'm getting these benefits. And just make sure that the work environment is non-toxic. I know some law firms could be a little toxic where they're trying to overwork you or they just don't acknowledge the work that you do. Like, don't settle just for any law firm. Make sure to research the employer. Um, if you can talk to people or reach out to people via LinkedIn, definitely do that. I didn't do that, but I wish I would have. Had. I think it could be kind of hard if you're applying for boutique law firms. There might not be too many people, but maybe on LinkedIn, you could just find, like if you have an interview with X law firm, you could type that law firm and then try to find the people who used to work for them and then kind of reach out it's like hey did you like working here or why did you quit because that's very important if there's a high turnover of legal assistance at a certain law firm that's not a good sign that means either they were overworked it was very toxic something went wrong maybe they didn't provide good training you never know so do your research and don't settle for less if you guys have any questions or concerns or you have feedback from me, please, you know, comment. Don't be shy. I look at every comment and I try to reply whenever I see them. I really appreciate you guys and I hope these videos honestly, like, truly help you. I'm trying to create more content out there about, you know, the legal system um, field because you kind of have an idea of how to get to law school or, like, what you need to do. But there's not much about like how to find legal assistant positions. Um, what is it like? Um, what do you do? Um, like how do the interviews go? Like what are exactly like what are they looking for? 
So if you want more content like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I am going to record the strong resume now. Bye, guys.